Revival and Reformation, The Vacation Paradox by David Buruchara. David Buruchara is a clinical mental health counseling master student with a background in supply chain and procurement. He resides in the Shenandoah Valley, Virginia, United States. What kind of vacation do you prefer? A relaxing one where you can laze about, read, eat, and sleep without a care in the world? Or do you lean more toward a packed itinerary filled with adventure and exploration? Perhaps you're somewhere in between. These are the questions my wife and I grappled with as we embarked on a long-awaited getaway to the British cities of London and Edinburgh. Our excitement was palpable, but we faced a paradox. The desire to rest and the urge to seize every moment in this new and exciting adventure. We had only a week to explore both cities and the clock was ticking. Why spend precious hours unwinding when we could be touring the British Museum, Edinburgh Castle, or any of the other countless attractions these vibrant cities had to offer? We needed to make the most of our limited time. So we rushed from one landmark to another, leaping into closing subway doors, trying to cram as much as possible into each day. It's almost comical to think about it. Hurry and vacation? seem like polar opposites, don't they? Don't get me wrong, we absolutely loved our vacation. The memories we created and the sights we witnessed were truly unforgettable. However, by the time we returned home, we were utterly exhausted, physically and mentally drained. Our bodies had reached their breaking point, leaving us pondering the irony of a holiday that left us feeling so Tired. Busy, not hurried. The vacation paradox isn't limited to vacationers like us. Rest can sometimes feel elusive even for Sabbath keeping Christians, and particularly for pastors and church leaders. In fact, of all the mental challenges pastors in the U.S. face, stress stands out above discouragement, distractions, and other areas. As leaders, we are called to lead from a place of inner strength, a strength that comes from a deep spiritual connection with Christ. However, the demands of ministry, family, and life often find us performing at a pace that is detrimental to our spiritual lives. This pace is what we call hurry. Hurry is more than just busyness. It's a state of continual rushing and anxiousness a constant sense of time urgency, and the thought that one never has enough time in a day. Consider the life of Jesus. Undeniably busy, he tirelessly ministered to people, healing the sick and teaching profoundly, and in the process, Jesus was saving the world. Yet, for all this responsibility, there is a marked absence of hurry in his actions and life. In fact, I dare say that while Jesus was certainly busy, he was never in a hurry. 38. In Mark chapter 1, verses 35 to 38, following a night of healing in Capernaum, instead of sleeping in as I would, Jesus rose early to spend solitary time with his father. When his disciples eventually located him, insisting that everyone was searching for him, demanding his time, his presence, and his energy, Jesus responded with a tranquil yet decisive demeanor. Quote, but he said to them, Let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. End quote. A pace of grace. Jesus was not ruled by the urgency of demands coming from every direction. He was not reactive, but responsive, directed rather than driven. Even as the Messiah, Jesus knew that he couldn't be everywhere at once. So Jesus moved 
at a deliberate and peaceful pace, grounded in something deeper, an unshakable dependence on the one who upholds the universe. As I contemplate the changes I wish to make for more restful vacations and a more grounded daily schedule, I leave you with this quote that has impacted me greatly regarding Jesus' invitation to rest in Matthew eleven twenty eight to 29 Quote, A yoke is a work instrument. Thus, when Jesus offers a yoke, he offers what we might think tired workers need least. They need a mattress or a vacation, not a yoke. But Jesus realizes that the most restful gift he can give the tired is a new way to carry life a fresh way to bear responsibilities, end quote. For bibliographical and biblical references on this article and for much more content for pastors and church leaders, please visit ministrymagazine.org.